Hi guys, it's your girl Ren and welcome to another video, right? So today is going to be all about maternity costs in Jamaica in the public sector, the public system. So we're going to be comparing some of the costs. So private versus public. All right, so first of all, have you subscribed to the channel as yet? If you haven't done so yet, please do so now. Won't give you like about five seconds to do that right now. Right? And make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you can know whenever I post another video. Alright? Thank you. So having your baby privately or public system which one do you choose how do you choose right so i'm just going to give you some tips some pointers right now and just tell you some costs um for the private sector i do not know the cost for all the hospitals but i know the average right I'll be using the University Hospital of the West Indies mainly as my marker. So for some persons who are pregnant, they may, I've noticed that some persons, they will do their antenatal care privately and then they choose to do their delivery at a public hospital. So some persons, will go to like a OBGYN and do other visits at that facility and then they will do the labor and delivery at a public hospital. Yeah, this does cut down some of the cost because to deliver privately, it may be somewhat costly, right? Especially for some hospitals. Dewey Hospital tends to be more on the cheaper side when compared to like a Andrews or like a Nuttall, right? So some persons may choose that option to go privately to clinic and then deliver in a public hospital, right? So that's an option. All right, so for your antenatal period, you will definitely have to do antenatal care so whether you plan to go to a private doctor and OBGYN or you plan to come to the nearest health center you will basically have to factor in transportation costs so you have to factor in your taxi fare or your bus fare or you know you you basically burning gas to go to this facility right so for persons who are coming to the public clinic you know most of those persons they tend to either live walking distance from the clinic or they probably live like a taxi drive away or a bus drive away right so you will basically definitely have to factor in your transportation costs. All right, where the OBGYN visits are concerned, most of the times the cost for these visits normally start at about $6,000 per visit. $6,000 and up, right? Just giving you average cost. So, um, where the OBGYN visits are concerned, remember that for pregnancy, you will do quite a few visits. But most persons, once they start clinic at when they're about 12 weeks, most of the times it basically runs them up to do at least about 12 visits for the pregnancy, 10 to 12 visits for the pregnancy. So calculate $6,000 
times 10, you will end up getting about $60,000, right? Sometimes even more. It can run you up to probably about $72,000 there about, right? Versus if you do your antenatal care at the nearest health center, your clinic, that part you will pay nothing. It is absolutely free, 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 no cost to it, right? Also, for your antenatal care, you will be required to take antenatal supplements and where the private doctor is concerned, you would normally have to pay, maybe on average you pay probably $2,500 for your antenatal supplements. So you'd pay $2,500 every month, right? Because the, most of the supplements would last you for like a month. So you'd have to be replenishing that every month. So versus if you come to the public antenatal clinic, we most of the times provide uh, the antenatal supplement so for each visit the midwife would you know give you some iron supplement some folic acid so you're basically not really going to pay end up paying much for antenatal supplements if you choose to you know do your antenatal care at the public clinic Man, do you know, apart from the iron and the folic that the midwife at the health center may prescribe for you or may give you, you may, in addition, end up buying, you know, maternal supplements like a Natel, right? But it would definitely be a bit cheaper than if you go privately. All right. Another thing where cost is concerned would be your blood test. For antenatal clinic, you'll have to do blood tests. You'll have to do screening for various things. So ideally, you're supposed to do at least three ultrasounds during your pregnancy, right? So you're supposed to be doing an ultrasound, well, at least doing an ultrasound for each trimester, right? All right, so another factor that you would have to consider in terms of spending would be to buy your late, prepare your late. So, and that is buying up for your baby, buying up for you, buying up for your hospital stay, right? So, where the public sector is concerned you know you're going to be basically buying just about everything because when you go to the hospital to deliver your baby nothing really is provided for you so you have to go there with things that you're going to receive your baby in so your baby clothes everything right where the private sector is concerned, they do also make you carry your, your, your late, your stuff for your baby and for you, right? So you basically would still end up spending maybe around the same amount in terms of preparing that aspect of it. All right, so let's talk about the deliver, the labor and deliver part of it now. All right, so if you choose to go privately, so you're going to deliver in a private hospital, let's say you decided to deliver at UA, which as I said before, UA tends to be the cheapest in terms of delivering hospital stay, all of that. So at UA, you may end up spending somewhere from around if you plan to do or if you do a vaginal delivery you may end up spending somewhere just for the delivery just for the vaginal delivery you may end up spending probably somewhere around close to fifty thousand dollars for that delivery versus if you end up having to do a cesarean section you will be looking at probably around one hundred and thirty thousand thereabout 
to do that delivery to do a cesarean section right and you know that for these hospitals you have to have a down payment in order to be booked there for delivery right but in the public sector if you choose to deliver in the public hospital you will not be charged for that delivery so even if you end up in complications and you end up having to do a c-section you would not end up paying for the c-section right so that would be free of cost also remember that when you deliver at the private hospital Apart from the money that you would pay for doing the delivery, whether vaginal delivery or C-section, you would have to pay for the period that you stay, right? So, let's say you deliver vaginally and you end up staying in the hospital for a day or two days, you're going to have to pay for your hospital stay, right? And if you deliver you, your hospital stay can run you up to probably even about maybe fourteen thousand dollars per day versus if you deliver at the public hospital you pay nothing for your hospital stay so even if you end up staying for three four days you end up not going to pay any money to stay right Versus if you deliver at the private hospital, you're definitely going to have to pay for hospital stay. Also, the thing about the whole private and public hospital is you get more... I know that UA has two different types of room. They have the semi-private room and they have the private room so if you decide to pay for the private room then you'd have your own bathroom and your own everything to yourself versus if you pay for a semi-private room you would basically share bathroom with other patients in the public hospital you really don't have a you're not going to get a private room right the only privacy that you may get is just if you like draw the screen so draw your curtain around you right but you're going to share a bathroom with other clients right so that is the plus where you we are the other private hospitals are concerned while you pay for your delivery at the private hospital if you choose to do your antenatal care publicly and deliver publicly you have the option of actually once you meet the requirement you have the option of doing a home birth right it's exciting stuff you can actually get your midwife to come to your home and deliver your baby in the comfort of your home right and this is a wonderful experience because you would have your you're, you're able to have your family involved you can have your husband your baby father you can have your mother you can have anybody who you choose to be a part of your labor and delivery experience right so that is an option you can do an you can do a home birth right and guess what in the public sector the home birth is completely free of cost right so once you meet the criteria for a home birth you can have your midwife come and deliver you at home and guess what where the home birth is concerned it's normally at least two registered midwife that comes to your home and do your home birth and normally they would come with a student who is in training so you basically have all the attention in the world that you want in the comfort of your home 
right during your labor and delivery experience and it is absolutely free 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 and after the home birth you will get your 24 hour visit your three day visit your six day visit and sometimes the midwife also visits you at day nine or day ten so this is exciting stuff you know whichever you choose it's up to you but i definitely recommend doing it publicly because guess what you'll be saving a lot of money and you at the end of it you have the option to deliver your baby by a home birth which is exciting stuff you know who would want their baby to be delivered at home in the comfort of their home with their family around and all of this is free 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 i mean come on you'd be treated like royalty right right so we're at the end of the video now and thank you for watching i hope this video was informative i hope this video brought some amount of clarity in making your decision whether or not you want to you know go privately or use a public sector if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel please subscribe now and also like and share you never know who this information may be able to benefit so we don't want you to keep it all to yourself right so i will see you in the next video thanks for watching peace out love you guys